a greeting. So this is going to be for the Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Um, this may also apply to you if you have Gemini and your Venus placement of your natal chart because this is um, going to be tying into love energy. Um, for the most part um it also could resonate in other situations as well but that's kind of like the intent that i put behind it so please keep that in mind um i hope that this reading provides you with the clarity that you need about the truth it's going to be digging even deeper than what surface level into the situation and kind of um providing insight on why certain things are the way they are but please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for you in your situation. If you are interested in me tapping into your own personal energy, all the information that you will need to book a personal reading with me will be in the description box. Thank you so much to all of my new and my old subscribers. I really appreciate your support. If you are new to my channel and you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Also, if this message resonates for you, please give it a thumbs up and comment. I would love to hear from you all. I also do daily pick the card readings on my Instagram at Free Spirit Guide Insight. Reviews are posted on there as well. If anyone is interested in, um, you know, kind of seeing some feedback on how my readings work for other people. Let's see. So, getting down to the truth. One more time. Okay, let's see. This is for the Gemini. Um, this energy could go vice versa as well for those of you who are cross watching. Um, so just keep that in mind. Okay, so Gemini, I feel like you're dealing with someone who um, doesn't want to walk away from you because I do feel like there is emotions attached here, but I feel like this is a connection based off of sex or based off of impulse or based off of more so the passion or um, just something kind of rebellious in a sense is what I'm getting, if that makes sense for any of you. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. You could be dealing with another air sign, um, a Gemini like yourself or a Libra. You also could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. I feel like this person is presenting to you that they want to commit. Um, they come back in with um, this energy of wanting to offer... Okay, here. One, I'm sorry. Wanting to... Um, I feel like they're coming with this energy of like, no, I don't want to walk away. Like, I feel like they're emotionally invested. I feel like they kind of won't let you go. I feel like this person um, comes in and out very fast. But I feel like this person is also defensive. It's almost like this person does want to open up a little bit more in some sort of capacity, but the fight in them is kind of dead. I feel like they don't want to allow this situation to mentally conflict them. So it's like they are flirting and they are offering love. And I feel like um, they speak a lot and they say a lot or they offer a lot of ideas as to how they want things to go. Um, or sell you ideas of where things could go potential here with the star card but I feel like they don't actually put forth the effort and the execution and making that happen um, so let's see why is the four of wands here for some of you the truth is this person is married and they can't walk away from the situation um, so it's like this situation with you is going to stay stagnant or not really move forward more than it is or more than it has been. 
Why is the Five of Swords in the reverse? Okay, we have the Nine of Cups. So I feel like it's more so based off of this person's fulfillment. And that's why they don't want this to be a thing that is mentally conflicting for them. Because it's just supposed to be something where um, their needs are being met. And they're feeling fulfilled in some sort of way from the interaction with you. Why is the Page of Cups here? We have the Ten of Wands. So um, I feel like this person may... Like you and this person, I feel like you both have been on on and off, on and off, um, maybe a few times or maybe even for a while. And I feel like it's just a thing with them that they feel like it's too much work to kind of give more to the situation or to actually commit to the situation um, based off of what they're wanting from the situation. Because I don't feel like they're wishing for an actual commitment here. I feel like they're maybe um, giving that illusion to you, but I feel like they don't want to really um, move forward in that way. And I feel like that's why they're kind of defensive in their energy because their intentions are to connect in um, a fulfilling way and more so um, I'm trying to find another word other than toxic. Um, but it's more so just impulse. It's impulse, it's um, like temporary fulfillment type of thing, um, kind of getting attached to that. Um, but I feel like the reason why this person is kind of being defensive, even though they're kind of giving off the illusion of something being more, I feel like at the same time, they're trying to, or they're attending to now, um, kind of guard their energy or guard themselves or maybe not be as open and available to you when they're not moving off of this impulse and wanting to connect with you in, in whatever way you two connect with one another um, because I feel like they don't want it to be a thing when you both are not in communication that they're leading you on but at the same token I feel like they want that feeling of having a, a connection with you but not actually um, committing to this connection so I feel like this person is wanting to be open to other options kind of be emotionally free or um just be able to emotionally explore things. I feel like when this person is in this energy of wanting to explore other emotional options and things like that, they're going to put the situation with you at rest. Um, I also feel like it could be a thing as well where this person is a little, a little confused as to what to do with you. But more so than anything, I'm getting that that is this person's intentions is to kind of confuse you emotionally in a sense so that when... Um, they kind of isolate themselves and guard themselves and come back whenever they're wanting to come back. You will be um, receptive to them or be open as an option for them is what I'm getting. So why is the Seven of Cups? And this also could be past energy. It doesn't necessarily have to be going on right now. It, this could be... Um, you know someone maybe you dealt with not too long ago or whatever it is we have the page of swords with the seven of cups so yeah i feel like this is more so um in regards to their intentions and what they're trying to do with you um because i feel like they speak a lot and they say a lot like i was saying i think i was saying that in the beginning um saying a lot but not really implementing any action and i feel like this person says a lot of things that may mentally conf confuse you or conflict you um and like you don't know what to think about the situation
I feel like this person desires to keep on continuing to sell you hope so that this person can rush in um, whenever they're wanting to and kind of make something happen with you. Why is this dark card here? of wands so yeah I feel like it's um, in order to you know kind of sell hope so that they can be able to have a sexual interaction with you so let's see what your advice is in regards to this person So we have destruction and new beginnings. So I feel like you need to put the situation to a rest. I feel like um, with this Ten of Wands energy here, you both feel forced and pressured within this connection to make something happen or transform higher or keep something um continuing and flowing and i feel like this is a situation that um is not working for the both of you and i feel like this person doesn't have the best intentions for you now this is your life do whatever it is that you want to do um it's not going to resonate for everyone as well so don't cuss me out in the comments because i don't know your life um but for those of you that this does resonate for, I just feel like this is something that is being forced and something that is trying to crash and burn. But there's an energy of continuing to accept and allow and surrender to the wrong things within this commitment. And I feel like you just need to take a leap of faith and allow new beginnings and, you know, a new kind of love situation to come in for you. I really hope that this reading resonated for you all. You also can check your moon and your rising sign. You also can book a personal reading with me. All the information will be in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.